Well, teachers, teachers who are watching this video, you are going to hate me. Yeah, today I'm going to teach you slang reductions. What the hell? Teachers do not teach this in the classroom. It's a bad, bad teacher. Boo. Do you think that your English sounds perhaps a little bit too formal compared to other people? Well, you are not the only one and I am here to help you out. Perhaps you find it difficult to transition from learning like proper English on paper to sounding like a native speaker and that might be the case. But one way, among others, to overcome this problem is to use reductions. But what are reductions? Reductions are a combination of two, maybe three words stuck together to form one single unity. And they are used all the time in daily English on TV, in films, and perhaps more frequently in uh, music and songs. Why? Well, simply because it fits. It's quick, it's natural, it sounds authentic and casual. It is only one syllable, so it's easy to use and it will help you, it will definitely help you with your fluency. Well, just bear in mind that it is not considered as proper English. You see, it is considered as non-standard English, if you like. So feel free to use it in conversation, speaking no problem, as much as you like. You probably want to avoid them when you write, but other than that, you are good to go. Okay, so let's start with uh, gonna. Okay, you've probably heard it before. Gonna is a contraction of going to. Okay, let's say you are a little hungry. I'm gonna eat something. I'm going to eat something. Okay, so it's much quicker I'm gonna eat something. Can you repeat? I'm gonna eat. I'm going to eat. I'm gonna eat. Number two is wanna. Very famous, very common. Wanna is, not very surprisingly, a contraction of want to. Okay, when you want to do something. Imagine, I oh, imagine you're tired. And you say, oh, I'm tired. I want to go home. Well, chances are that you're going to say, I'm, I want to go home. I'm tired. I want to go home. Wanna. I want to go. Can you repeat? I want to go. I want to go home. Number three is gotta. Gotta or have to. Gotta, have to. Gotta is the contraction of got to or have got to. It's when you feel a sense of obligation. You have no choice. Oh, it's late. I gotta go. I gotta go. I have got to go. But most people wouldn't, wouldn't say that. I have got to go. No, no, no. You say, I gotta go. Or I have to go. I have to. Okay, have to becomes have to. I have to go. I'm sorry, guys. I have to go. And in the third person, it's has to. Has to. Yeah. Um, he has to find a job. Imagine you have a friend. He's unemployed. He's been unemployed for ages. And you say, oh, he has to find a job. Has to. Now, next one is lotta. Lotta. And lotsa. 
Can you guess what contraction it is? What reduction it stands for? Well, lotta stands for a lot of. Imagine you have this friend, John, who is really popular, and he's got a lot of friends. Well, you could say he's got a lot of friends. He has a lot of friends. A lot of. Or you could also say he's got lots of friends. Lots of. Okay, it sounds more casual. It sounds more direct and probably more authentic. Next one is kinda, kinda, or sorta, sorta, kinda. Um, so what does it mean? Well, it means more or less, okay? Um, not quite, not exactly, or just a little bit. Uh, let's say, let's say you are hungry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always hungry. Um, you could say, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of hungry. It means that you are not actually starving, um, but you feel a little hungry. You wouldn't mind eating a little something. So you could say, I, I feel kind of, I feel kind of sad. Okay. Or sort of, I, I feel sort of sad. Sort of, I, I am sort of sort of hungry okay next one let me let me let me help you let me help you let me well this one is really subtle but it's worth mentioning when you say let me help you you could always say let me help you all right let me see if you want to check something out let me see let me see not let me see but let me see let me help you or give me yeah this one is perfect too give me it's not give me, but you say, give me, give me your hand. Oh, imagine someone is causing you trouble and um, he or she is getting on your nerves and you want to say to him or her, come on, give me a break. Give me a break. Give me five minutes, will you? Give me. So this one is really cool. And Last but not least, I'm going to teach you ain't, ain't. So ain't is really popular in America, in England, especially in the Cockney areas. Um, so ain't is a, a, once again a combination, a reduction, and it stands for is not, are not, and am not. Okay, so it's be in the negative form, right? So, for example, if you say, I am not very good at football, you could very well say, I ain't very good at football. I ain't very good. I am not. I ain't. Uh, life isn't always easy. Life ain't always easy, okay? So ain't replaces is not. Life ain't really easy. Or life ain't always easy. Um, imagine a bunch of people that you don't really like and you could say, oh, I don't like those people. They are not good people to hang out with. You could say they ain't. They ain't good people to hang out with. So they are not becomes... They ain't, okay? So I know it sounds weird, but let me be clear about this. The more you use contractions and reductions, the more fluent your English will get. So I strongly, strongly suggest that you start using them today, okay? Get familiar, try to repeat and pronounce, and, and you will master them in you know in a few weeks that's for sure all right good people thank you so much for tuning in if you haven't already please consider liking this video please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you get notified um, for the next video 
either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys really soon in the next one.